first, let's evaluate some logarithms. f of x equals log base 2 of x. Evaluate this when x is 32. So they're saying to us, f of 32 is equal to log base 2, 32. So the mantra that I'm always repeating to myself is as follows. The answer to a log problem is the exponent. The answer to the log problem is the exponent. The answer to the log problem is the exponent. So I'm asking myself, two to what power gives us 32? Well, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Here is 4, times 2 more is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. A string of five twos together, which of course we know is 2 to the fifth power, gives us 32. So my answer here is 5. Remember, the answer to a log problem is the exponent. We're really asking 2 to what power gives us 32? Clearly the answer is 5. In our next one, part B, f of x equals log 3x, x equals 1. So f of 1 is log, notice the base has changed. I'm asking myself, what exponent on base 3 gives us 1? In other words, that my little ditty always works for a log problem. And my ditty is this, the answer to a log problem is the exponent. 3 to what power gives us 1? The answer to a log problem is the exponent. Well, I know from past study that a to the 0 is 1. In other words, any base to the 0 is 1. So my answer here is 0 because 3 to the 0 gives us 1. The answer to a log problem is the exponent. In our next problem, I'm asked to find f of 2 for log base 4 of x. Well, I'll put a 2 in here. I'm asking... 4 to what power gives us 2? Well, I know the square root of 4 is 2, and I've got to transcribe this into a fractional exponent. Well, this implies that this is 4 to the 1, and the index here is 2. So this is 4 to the 1 half equals 2. Anytime I have a exponent, an exponent of 1 half, I know I'm taking the square root. The answer to log problem is the exponent. So I get one half here because my base, four to the one half is two. The answer to a log problem is the exponent. And way down here, I'm asked to find f of one over 100 of log base 10 of x. So one over 100. So I have to figure out 10 to what power gives us one over 100. And of course the answer is negative two, let's see. 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 10 squared, which is 1 over 100. So the answer to the log problem is the exponent. We're now going to talk about evaluating common logs. First of all, what is the common log? The common log is any logarithm with base 10. Notice I've written it with base 10 here, but it's equivalent to this. If I don't write a base we can assume it's the common log and that the base that is not written is 10. So we're asked to evaluate some of these common logs. Log base 10, here's my argument. We call this the argument of the log. When the argument is 10, I'm asking myself, 10 to what power gives us 10? Because the answer to a log problem is the exponent. Now, if you put in this in your calculator, you'll see that that calculator will give you one as the answer there. Why? Because 10 to the first gives us 10. 10 to the first gives us 10. And there is our equivalent exponential equation there. Here, I'm looking for the answer to the log problem is the exponent. I'm asking 10 to what power 10 to what power, I don't know, gives us 2.5. Well, I know that I can use my calculator to do this. And when I do that, I'm gonna have to open up this box, I get 0 0.39794. It's gonna give me a long decimal answer. Sometimes they're not as easy as being, uh, and allow me to do them in my head, so I have to go to the calculator. 
log base 10 of negative 2. I'm asking myself, 10 to what power gives us negative 2? And you will see, if we're looking at 10 to the power of x, we know that that is an exponential growth equation and will never intersect this value of negative 2. Remember, we had a y equals 0 horizontal asymptote there. So this will give us an error message on our calculator because there is no number that will give us a negative argument. The arguments for logs are always positive, and we're going to see that when we look at the graphs of log equations. We can't have a negative argument. We can't have a negative argument. One more time, our arguments can't be negative. Here's a positive argument. I'm asking here 10 to what power gives us 1 fourth? 10 to what power gives us 1 fourth? Because my argument is positive, I can find that. When I do this in my calculator, I'm going to get negative 0 0.60206. Now my exponent can be negative. It's the argument that cannot be negative. We've got to be careful. Whatever we're taking the log of, this argument has to be positive. It can't even be zero.